Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another quick video. So today <coughs> we will be talking about the tunes, you know, software tunes available for the Mahindra Rockstar uh, to give it more power. So as you know, the ECU is right there. You use this tab, pull it up, take it out, and then you can uh, It's a Bosch unit, uh, EDS 175, if I'm not mistaken. EDC 175. So that's the uh, ECU for the Mahindra Rockstar. Uh, most of the tunes that you can do on this, you actually have to take it out and then split the casing out and then uh, use certain things to go there, read the software and modify it as needed. So, I opted instead to get uh, the shift on the fly tune from Dieseltronic and this is a variable tune. So, uh, the way you install it is very simple. Simply come to the common rail, because you know this is a common rail engine, and you plug it right there, one end of the lead. The other end goes to the original harness, which I have right here. It plugs right in there. You can trace the wire, you can see. So I have one end plugged to the common rail, and the other end goes to uh, the plug that came from there. And then everything runs. I have a couple of zip ties I use to hold the harness right there. And I run everything to sit on top of the battery. Then one of the connectors will go to the positive end of the battery right there. That's where it gets power to this lane. So that's what the Dysatronic looks like from race dynamics. So you might ask, uh, why did I go with the tune from uh, Dieseltronic? Well, the good thing I like about this tune is that it's a shift on the fly tune. So if you look right here, it comes with this fob. Uh, if your engine is running, you have the different programs there. You have the stock, which means your, your Rocksaw operates exactly the way it came from the factory power settings and everything you have the economy which is what you might use let's say if you are going on a very long trip you're not in uh, heavy traffic or if you are in the uh, muddy terrain and you don't want to transmit too much power to the wheels that will actually lower the power output from the engine and then you have p1 and p2 so uh, the way you shift it when driving is you simply just push on the button see if you hear heard very carefully my idle changed so economy um, for stock you would have one blink economy I believe it's two p1 which is of interest to us would be three and p2 which gives the most power output would be four so uh, let's as an example let's just do uh, p1 so we should be having three blinks let me see you over here. So then you can see that we have three blinks and uh, you know that you are effectively change the tune. And uh, mind you, you don't have to actually come go out there and, and do the change or verify. You can actually feel it when you're driving. So we can try P2. And we should be having uh, four links. Let's come out here. So it's very interesting, and uh, the reason I like this tool, this tool in particular, is because uh, most of the time when I give it to my friends, you know, my acquaintances. Say, hey, I want to take uh, the rocks out for a spin. I simply put a lower power tune. Maybe I just put uh, maybe the stock tune or the economy, and then I close it like that. 
that way there's very little uh, possibility of them damaging my clutch or damaging my engine by uh, because they over revved it uh, that's the danger that you run especially for those who have had uh, permanent tunes done to their rotor you give it to somebody who is a novice or who's been driving a gas car they are going to rev the hell out of your engine and if your engine is not warmed up or they don't know what they're doing they could blow your clutch they could uh, burn out your clutch or they could cause some irreparable damage to your engine so that is one of the main reasons why i went with the Dizertronic uh, variable tube so let's go real quick show you what's in the box as you can see that's for the Rockstar so you have the ECU which is like the one I have over there and then it's very very well made a very well made kit you have the harness in case uh, your system fails you simply disconnect the ECU and you plug this in place in case the ECU fails and that should get you back home and then of course we have some goodies in there some stickers and goodies uh, there should be a remote in there somewhere oh there's the remote and the serial number so you have the remote in there good to go so that's what comes in the box basically for the Dizertronic tune and the big advantage of this is in case you have to go in for warranty work or whatever reason it's very easy to get your rocks up back to start and uh, i know for one that my engine is not overstressed if somebody wants to borrow my rocks up i'm more than happy to toss the, uh, the keys over to them knowing that i don't have to worry because i'll just simply reduce the tune and that way they can't rev the hell out of my engine well, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you guys on the next episode. Bye.